show you the um, kind of the adjustments that I made to the brightness that I was talking about. So when you sent me the image, I think it looked a little bit more like that. Um, so it was kind of like a darker, moodier look to it, which is beautiful. Um, the only thing is that I try and keep all of the photos for the Happy Film Company being a little bit brighter just to stick with the kind of cheerful brand image that we have. So I usually I just kick everything up quite high on the exposure. Um, so that's one spot there. Especially when their skin tone is darker, you have to, it's a little tricky. When someone's Caucasian, it makes it a lot easier because um, you don't have to start playing with all these things. You can usually just take the exposure up. Where else is I going to show you? Um... I'm just going to choose a random picture. That's a, that's like a bad example. <laughs> I shouldn't have chosen that one. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you a few of the differences so maybe you can see what I'm talking about. So if you sent me this one, that's too dark. You didn't send me that. Okay, so like something like that is too dark, even though the exposure isn't off completely. So we just take it up until it has this, there it is, the kind of glow. See? One step down is like bright, but not really bright enough. My computer's being a little slow because I'm exporting, sorry. And then let's take it up too high. So there, that's getting too high because now skin is blowing out. They look like they're glowing like vampires or something. So you have to kind of find that sweet spot. I think it's right about there. Okay. Um, same thing here. So a lot of the time to help me get the glowy effect, I'll increase the shadows and I increase the blacks. So I'm happy with the black being down here, but if I take it up, you'll see it brightens or darkens the skin. So right there is good, but um, if I'm struggling with the exposure, I usually use the black primarily to make the skin glowy. So that's another good one. Oh, and I was going to show you here, when they're cutting the cake, where is she? Oh, no, this was one on the way. So the, the one you sent me was a little bit, I think the photos you edited were more kind of realistic, like real-to-life exposure, but we're going for more of a glowy, surreal kind of look. Oh, a little bit overexposed. Okay, so I got that picture from you which technically I think is accurate, especially if you're trying to like, you don't want to blow out the background. You're trying to keep a balance between the background and the subject, but we pretty much always prioritize the subject. So I'm okay blowing out the background if it means that the subject is glowy. See the difference? That's more of the moody, dramatic, matte look that a lot of photographers are doing these days. And this is more of the glowy look that we are offering even push it a little higher yeah okay and then there was one moment when she was leaning over the cake here we go okay so you brought these down so there was this sun flare coming in the top and um, my guess is that you thought it was kind of overexposed so you brought it down to be more like accurate like that like that um, but I think it loses the kind of dreamy, glowy effect. So we could go kind of there, which is probably or actually a really good balance because you can still see your skin, but then you also see the sun flare. I took it even higher because I kind of like to push it so that it's completely dreamy and our skin is completely creamy. Um, same thing here. This is a full sun flare coming in. And I think yours was down here. And like this, I'm really only I pretty much... I'm just playing with the exposure. On a few of the pictures I changed things down here, but the thing I had to do on pretty much all the pictures was go through and fix the exposure bar. So there, um, yeah, you can see her better and everything, but the feeling is glowy up here. Where is it? Yeah. And be like, it wouldn't work if the entire photo shoot was blown out like this, but because it's just one, it, it adds a really nice variety and kind of shows off the brightness of the sun, which is fun. Um, let me see if I can find just one other example to show you. Oh yeah, this. so this is um, bringing up the exposure is really important when people are leaning in and creating shadows on themselves. 
So there was a moment where the family's all hugging. This probably looks really random, huh? I don't even, I didn't prepare well for this little session. <laughs> okay, here. So the family's all leaning in and the sun is behind them. And um, they're creating, obviously they are, their faces are in shadow because the sun is behind, but when they lean forward, their faces get even darker. So if we take their exposure down, they're like super dark. Um, and I think the one you gave me was kind of like there. So you did brighten it up enough and it's kind of accurate, but again, we're gonna take it up even higher until they look glowy there. Ooh, we're getting there, kind of like right about there. Do you see that difference? It's kind of taking it from the world of what's real to the world of what's glowy. <laughs> so it's kind of a judgment call. I don't actually tend to look at these numbers too much. Um, apart from when I find the spot that I like and then I'll take note of the number just in case I accidentally hit it and I know where it needs to go back to. Um, I don't want to make this little video go on too long, but then I do want to show you how, how I use these, right? So, like, if you... This is a good example. So if the picture's already like blown out like here it's quite bright behind and if we start taking the exposure up higher it just gets too bright because the majority of the picture is brightness um, and then we'd lose the family and it just bleh, that doesn't look right that doesn't look right at all so this is when I tend to increase the exposure just a little bit and then because all of this is what's considered like white or highlights, and these are shadows and blacks, I'll increase these so I can leave this up here alone. So I'll bring them up. Because that would make them darker, but the sky looks great, see? So like that's where, basically if, it, if increasing the exposure makes the picture look bad, that's when I count on the blacks. Um, the only other comments really that I had apart from the exposure were using this uh, cropping tool to straighten the horizons so when you just tilt it like this you see all these lines come on and you can line it up with the horizon um, which is really only an issue when we're shooting at the beach and then the other comment was just being really mindful of seeing things on the edges of the photos that are distracting so with this image for example I believe it's this image Yeah, see down here, there's like a little thing poking up a tree maybe. Um, the image is really showing off the big beautiful sky and if that pokes in, it's really distracting. So I got rid of it. And I got rid of it with this tool, just by drawing on top and then the little bubble appears and you replace it with the sky. And then likewise, somewhere along the line, I think um, maybe here. The dad was in the background, and it's super subtle, but he was just like on the edge. Yeah, see, dad's right there. It just doesn't look as clean, so I removed him, and I just used this tool here, cloning. Just highlight him, and then it replaces with what's next door. So that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, I hope it's helpful. Um, the video. If you have any questions on how to expose or um, any adjustments, any of the adjustments that I made, um, ooh, there's another distracting thing down here while I'm at it. <laughs> um, just let me know. And um, I'm going to go look at the other shoots that you have and see if I have any other comments. Cool. Thank you so much. You did a really good job. Bye.